Hi, today I'd like to show you some enhan enhancements to voiceover that can make a big difference in a user, a disabled user's um, life with the use of an iPhone. So if, uh, if somebody is using an iPhone, these features with voiceover, these features can make a big difference in the usability of the device. So I'm going to turn on voiceover and go to the accessibility menu, which is settings, general, accessibility and show you some of the new features so I'm gonna go ahead and turn zoom on and zoom back out and now I'm gonna turn on voiceover before voiceover and zoom could not work at the same time but as you can see in iOS 6 voiceover on they work settings at the same time so Accessibility. back button I'm gonna go ahead and um, zoom in on the screen by tapping with double tap with three fingers top of screen top of screen and it zooms in and I can zoom in and out and pan around pan uh, pan around with the same gestures as I would if voiceover was off so um and also the voiceover cursor follows um, I mean, Zoom follows the voiceover cursor. Messages. So, for example, calendar, photos, camera. As I go from app to app to with the voiceover cursor, cursor, the um, Zoom window follows me. I can zoom back out and continue using voiceover as normal. Videos. And I can zoom back Double. in at any time. Go to column one, page one of four, top maps. I can also zoom in, open. zoom in a little bit more. Passbook. Double tap to open. And I can um, zoom back out by double tapping two fingers, three fingers. Now I'll show you how um, VoiceOver now maps. is compatible with Maps. Double tap. Maps. Chopped Creative Salad Company. Restaurant. So now. Points of interest along with street names are um, accessible via voiceover. So I can flick left and right Baja Fresh, restaurant. to go to the next point of interest. Pronto Pizza, restaurant. And in the in the voiceover rotor, Characters. Points of interest. there's points of interest. So if I go there, I'll get points of interest. Brian Park, 58. The Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, W40th Street. One way, east west road. So, the great part about this is if I'm in an area, let's say um, this area of Manhattan, I'm able to see the points of interest around me. So, let's say I'm in the mood for some food, I can uh, swipe around and find um, a restaurant. Green Source, Le Pain Quotidian, W 39th Street, Katie Roll Company, Restaurant. So, that sounds good. I can double tap. Double tap to dismiss info pop-up. Directions. Button. Info pop-up. Katie Roll Company. Directions. Button. Double tap to dismiss. Double tap to direction. New York. Clear text. Double tap. Lee Payne quote. W30. Katie Roll Company. Double info pop-up. More info. Then I can location. save reviews on Yelp Tap. and get Back directions button. to the um, location via walking. So it helps give people a sense of what's around them and um, helps them navigate their surroundings and get to points of interest such as restaurants. Maps. Now the third area that you can now use um, now use voiceover with is assistive touch. Settings. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off zoom, zoom. on off Ac accessibility and accessibility. go down to assistive touch. Up general. Speak auto tap. Rows 7 to 12. Assistive tap. Assistive tap. Now that it's enabled, touch. the Assistive orb um, comes up. I can Assistive touch it. Touch menu. Siri. And I can use assistive Tablets. touch with voiceover. Siri. So let's say I want to ask Siri a question. Are the tigers winning? You said, are the Tigers winning? The Tigers defeated the Twins by a score of 6-4 to four today. 
Target Field, Minneapolis, Tigers, 6, Twins, 4, Inning 1. So you can see how Assistive Touch now works with Zoom, Maps, and, um, and, um, that's it, sorry, um, so it's good to see that Apple's expanding the usability of their operating system by making um, VoiceOver more compatible with the features of the operating system. Thanks for watching. VoiceOver off.